Healthy teens. My grandmother has a short skirt. She don't know what she can do. But I know this is so. Our time now is so broke. We are not ready to brush our teeth. We are not ready to clean up our hair. We are not ready to go to school. Wait. We actually have our studies to do. Remember our final assignment. We do have it. Okay, to yes, complete. yes, yes. Let's quickly sure. complete it. Healthy kids, learn better. You are what you eat. What you eat is what you are. Oh my goodness! My pencil is not sharp enough. Do you have another one? No, don't you have a sharpener? No, I don't. Oh, jeez. Don't you have a blade or something? No, but I know where you can get one. Wait, please. I saw one outside the house. Please come and show me. Okay, let's go. Learn better. Help the kids. Learn better. Oh, thank God we got this blade. Okay. Myself. Oh my god, sorry! Ah. Ouch! Oh man. What is it? What is it? Tom, I heard your voice. What happened? Mom, I just injured myself. With what? With that blade. Oh my god, this children will not kill me. Where did you get this from? We saw it outside. Outside? Yes, Mom. I didn't teach you that. I was just trying to sharpen my pencil. I know, but you would have asked for a sharpener. Oh. We need to call the doctor. Oh my god. Also call the doctor, can't we just give him some first aid mm. treatment? We will, we will, but we need to call the doctor because we need to know if there is an infection or something. You infection? get Infection? Yes. What kind of infection? When the doctor comes, she will explain to you. Oh my god. Uh, oh, just, uh, just, just, just hold on, just hold on. Uh, just hold on. Uh, Let me call the doctor, just hold this, hold this. Uh, just put the pressure on it, I have to call the doctor now. Sorry. Living is not an option. You are what you eat. What you eat is what you are. If you eat the right food, then you go for watermelon, apple, or. <sighs> Thank you so very yeah, much. Yeah, it's you. okay. Yeah. You're yeah. welcome. As in, this children want to give me <laughs> It's okay. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. I have uh, stopped the bleeding and bandaged his hand, so he'll be fine. But he still needs to come with me to the hospital. For what again? I thought you said I'll be fine. Well, don't worry. You'll be fine. But I still need to check for tetanus infection. That's why you're coming with me to the hospital. Tetanus infection? Yes. What's that? It's a dangerous infection worse than your worst nightmare. And it's usually caused when someone gets injured by a rusty object. Yes. That is very scary. Yeah. Uh, tetanus is a... A serious but rare condition that can be fatal if untreated. The bacteria that causes tetanus can enter into your body through a cut or a wound by a rusty object and they are usually found in the soil. So yeah. you're literally saying that they can get infected? Just maybe we need to play safe here. Um, Mom, have they ever taken the tetanus uh, vaccine? I'm not aware of any doctor. They actually need to, even adults too, they need to take that vaccine in order to protect themselves from tetanus. Okay, doctor. What are the signs of this disease? Oh, uh, tetanus can cause serious muscle contractions, especially in the jaw and the neck. And you have a difficulty in breathing, which eventually leads to death. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, the person experiences a locked jaw. Uh, you have difficulty in swallowing and stiffness of the neck. Yeah. How can we prevent this disease? It's very simple. The best way of preventing tetanus infection is by taking the vaccine. Then that's one. You also need to stay away from any rusty or unclean sharp objects because that's the only way they can get into you mm. yeah okay. and ma'am please you need to keep every rusty and unclean object that is sharp 
keep it out of reach of the children okay we can actually you know prevent the infection if we do that so can we go now yeah what i need to take him <laughs> let's go let's thank go you. let's you go so very you're much. welcome you're welcome yeah. tetanus is an acute and sometimes fatal disease of the central nervous system that is caused by the toxin of the tetanus bacterium that enters into the body through an open wound tetanus lives in soy and manure it lives in human intestine animal saliva and poo Tetanus occur often in warmer climates and warmer months. Now let's see some of the symptoms of tetanus in children. Stiffness of the jaw. Number two, severe abdominal and back pains. Number three, fever. Number four, convulsion. Number five, sweating. Number six, stiffness of the muscles. The good news is tetanus can be prevented. One, by vaccinating your children with the anti-tetanus vaccine. You give your children this vaccine within the first six months of birth. Number two, ensure to clean the cords of your children as directed by your doctor. Number three, ensure to clean any wound immediately. Remember, healthy kids learn better. If you find this video useful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel like and share with families and friends also do well to click on the notification button so you'll be the first person to know whenever we post new content and please do leave a comment on the comment section thank you for watching healthy kids learn better you are what you eat what you eat is what you are